so on today's agenda, we are gonna delete the third brake light and the Koki wing holes uh, so that I can start doing body work on the trunk and the passenger door. I have some sheet metal here. The gauge, I couldn't tell you. I got set uh, in the scrap section of the steel yard, so it was like super cheap, but um, it's thin. I don't, I don't think it's any thicker than 16 gauge. So right now, I'll prep, I'll wire wheel these sections, and then I'm gonna cut out this right here uh, in a cardboard template. I'll make a template somehow, should be easy. And then I'll cut it out on steel, and we'll start tacking it in. And then I'll, I'll have to cut out some sheet metal here for these three holes, or four holes. Yeah. Let's get, let's get diggity. Alright, so we got the Catalina wine mixer here. And uh, long story short, we wired wheeled, we prepped it, I dented this, or I hit this little hole in because it was a little pulled up. Um, so now I got a cardboard piece, just slap it on like that, try to hold it tight, and then I got a, a can of self-fetch, but any can of paint will do, or I don't know why I'm putting a can there, can of paint, but I am, and uh, you can just sharpie it out, so you just, there is our little mold that we have to make. Or, well, we're gonna have to cut it out with scissors on this. Do you bought me some better scissors? Some TIG welding it. Um, it's really important that the surface is clean and stuff. Uh, we already cut out the piece of metal right here. I took off all the mill scale. The fitment is all right. It's acceptable. I'm gonna use a magnet to kind of bent the metal to the shape of the trunk. If you look right there. It's not flat, it's got a curve to it. I bent it enough. So I'm gonna put the magnet in the center of this little plate. And then you can see the center, because it's magneted, it's sitting really well. And then the sides kind of dip down. But I'm gonna tack it in place, so I'll be able to lightly, with my fingers, lift the metal right here and I'll start from one corner and probably work my way down. everything in. Um, I'm not worried about fully welding through everything. Uh, these these were countersunk, these back holes. These ones are flush. This is pretty flush as well. Uh, the reason I'm not I'm not gonna weld through the whole thing is because uh, it's sheet metal. It warps really quick. Like one tack and it's gonna start warping. So I've been I was very careful with it. So my tacks are small. I made sure to place a whole bunch so that it's solid in there. 
I'm gonna go ahead and grind it down. Um, and then we're gonna lay some bondo. We'll lay some bondo and start shaping this stuff. Getting it ready for tomorrow. <laughs> start shaping it tomorrow or something. Uh, so yeah, let's let's just hit it with the flap disc on the grinder and smooth it out. So we just applied the bondo as you just saw. Uh, everything went smoothly. It's gonna sit overnight to harden up and dry up, shrink, whatever you want to say. Um, and then tomorrow we're going to shape it. As you can see, hopefully we only need one more layer after this, uh, just for any like little pinholes and divots and stuff. Um, I want to show you something. So the reason why. I don't mind leaving little gaps and stuff in metal work when welding something up. Uh, I'll definitely 100% take that over welding it all and having the top part worked and everything worked. And, uh, right here, as you can see the Bondo spewed out and it, it's, it's really good on strength in my opinion. Like if I ever needed to put a thick layer of Bondo down or something, I'd, I'd drill holes so it has a little more like grabbing power that's in the interior so it's not gonna get wet or anything and I'll primer it from the back side just in case for moisture protectant and everything but yeah um, that's the way that's the way I did it that's the way I like to do it I've done this a few times and this is this is always the way that I'm most happy about doing it is not welding up everything completely so it's airtight or whatever so yeah go out there and have fun delete your oem nissan stuff